looking back on it, it was really, you know, a, a really good time, really warm time, a really sort of, it felt like a very safe environment. And, you know, I think there was a real sort of bond formed, not only between ourselves and the teachers, but also ourselves as, as students, you know. I think the thing that really benefited me was definitely that you cover so many different subjects, you know, and it's not just the academic you know, one's you know, reading and writing, which obviously are extremely important, but, you know, we did philosophy or astronomy. I remember astronomy, certainly, and um, history, you know, things that, that you weren't studying yourself for an, an actual exam, but yet you still got, a, you know, some information. I think that gives you a more rounded education or understanding of things. Certainly when you leave school and you go out into the, the world and you suddenly, you have a, you know, just a bigger grasp of things and, it helps and as an actor, I think, most especially, you know, you know, we're expected to be able to jump in anywhere, really, you know, with a yeah. bit of research. So um, it's good to, to have a sort of wider understanding of things. I played Bill Sykes, that's right. Well, I remember that production um, and they gave, I had, a, I remember Klaus giving me a, a pistol that had that fired blanks. I remember one of the knights coming on stage and trying to fire it on my, on my head and it, it must hadn't been set right or something. I probably messed with it. And so I clicked it a few times and brought it in my ear and then fired it. And I remember I couldn't, I, I carried on, but I couldn't hear a thing for the rest of the show. But actually there was another production I think we did, the uh, Prodigious Snob and Moliere play. And to be honest, if, if there was ever a, a a point in my career where maybe I kind of felt something like, oh, I enjoy this. It was probably yeah. that. I think there was just a moment there. I just thought, oh, this is, this is really exciting. I, I want to sort of discover more about this. Outlander, it's kind of intense, very intense. You know, we do, you know, ultimately they end up doing like 14, 16 hour days and it's every day for 10 months, pretty much apart from weekends. And so there's a lot, there's a lot of time taken up and a lot of your energy. So, it's kind of hard to fit everything in, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'll just do it when I can. And I think actually, again, technology, you know, your, your, your mobile phone is the thing that <laughs> disconnects yeah. you and it, it is, you know, so it's a great way to do business. I think it's just something that we, you know, as an actor, as in my situation, you get to like, you get to use your voice a little bit and, um, I just, I'm so pleased that I've been able to, I created a, a sort of fitness, online fitness service called My Peak Challenge and it to change their lifestyle and, their, and create healthy habits. But while you're helping yourself, you're helping others and 50% of all the, the proceeds go to charities and we've, we've raised over $5 million, sort of adding one each year. So we've now got, we've also got testicular cancer awareness uh, in Scotland. And then we have uh, this year, the EDF, the Environmental Defense Fund. So just trying to, trying to keep supporting them and keep growing. And it's, yeah, it's, it's really great. The work that they do as well. I think probably in a way, what it's given me is a sense of like, everything's going to be okay. I don't know why, maybe it's foolishness or naivety, but I feel like, you know, in a sense, this, the education gives you this, you know, this understanding about the world and the bigger picture of me. Definitely some of the skill, I guess, that I use or uh, is, is that sort of language and, and musicality and creativity that is sort of inside you. And I guess it hasn't been quashed by a, you know, a strict regime or a strict education. It's probably been encouraged by the Steiner systems. You know, it's not, you know, you're not sort of being channeled into this one direction of education and then going into finding a you know nine to five job and et cetera, et cetera. You know, your, your life isn't panned out, but also there's, there's some sort of rhythm or form to, to life. And, and mm. uh, uh, I think, you know, I always felt like just, it's going to be okay. You know, I think whatever, whatever happens, it's going to be all right.